My name is Ken Bascom. We're going to start our tour at our prayer chapel, take a look at it, and then move our way throughout the building from there. So as we come in this little vestibule, the room is designed to leave the outside world behind and usher you into a space where you can really focus on the presence of God and on the beauty and complexity and richness of the creation. Here's the first thing you see as you come in is the wood ceiling. And the ceiling is made up of three species of wood. The olive wood, which is sprinkled throughout, is harvested from branches that we had to prune from olive trees that were planted here on the Biola campus uh, in the late 1880s. The space is intended to be a very simple but very uh, sensory oriented space. The whole thing is intended to set you into a different place from the modern world. This will be used both as a space for individual devotion and a space for our Institute of Spiritual Formation to actually uh, use as a teaching tool and as, as a tool to encourage the spiritual disciplines. One of the unique features of this building is the donor wall, which tells the story of the construction and the funding of the building, and it also acknowledges the more than 800 individual gifts that we got that made this building possible. A little box at the bottom, which holds a collection of stones of remembrance that were put into this box to remind us of God's faithfulness. One of the very special features of the building is the Jerusalem stone that you see behind me. This stone actually comes from the land of Israel. It was quarried outside the ancient city of Hebron, and then it was finished at a shop outside of Jerusalem. One of the important features of the building that helps to create the sense of community that we really wanted to engender is this plaza. We've created more of a Mediterranean theme here, a Holy Land theme, if you will, with the plant material that we've used. We also have two or three panels of the Jerusalem stone on each end of the plaza. There is a set of stadium steps over there that are naturally built for you to sit and just people watch or have a casual conversation. And then on top of that, we have the element of water. The building has eight classrooms in it, uh, and they are three different seating styles to meet three different kinds of teaching environments. This room is one of five that is set up with tables and chairs, and each student station has a power outlet at it. The windows behind me uh, allow natural light into the space, and when the foot candle level reaches a certain point, some of the lights automatically shut off as long as the sun is shining. When the sun is not shining, then all the lights are on, so that saves energy. We've equipped the room with some technology to help the instructors be able to get their message across. So now we're in the office of Dr. Scott Ray, who is the chairman of the Department of Philosophy of Religion and Ethics. This is the office in the building with the most wonderful view. You can see all the way from the Coyote Hills, Saddleback Mountain, across to uh, the president's office. You can think at certain times of the day, see some of the Knott's Berry Farm rides from up here. Great view. We wanted to bring God's word literally into the building in a very real way. The words of scripture will be projected and will bathe this building throughout the day as the shadow of this text runs from the wall to the floor and back up to this wall as the sun moves from the east to the west. Now we're in one of the two conference rooms in the Dwight and Vicki Hanger conference complex. But we wanted to introduce a curved element into the building and also to just capture some of the wonderful natural light that is available to us in California. We have in the, the wall here some special facilities to accommodate this as a conference room. So the whiteboard swings out here and we'll have a very nice uh, big flat screen television in here for teleconferencing and for video displays. Now we're entering the Andrews Banquet Room. From the very start of planning on this complex, we wanted a multi-purpose meeting room where we could have events. And so the room is laid out for that with uh, two video projectors, lots of extra lighting options. And then we've furnished the room with two completely different sets of furniture, round tables for banquets and then smaller rectangular tables for lectures and training type setups and we think it's going to be a great 
facility for the campus. We're standing now on the Riotti Gardens. This is a special and multifaceted space. First of all, it's a great space for community. All the things that go on in this building, in the classrooms, in the faculty offices, can just spill out onto this great gathering spot surrounded by beautiful plants, beautiful views, quiet setup, and just a place where faculty, staff, and students can get together, expand on their conversations, and interact. Also, this is sort of the focal point for our creation stewardship value to be expressed. All the plants that you see around you here, they insulate the classroom below us and they absorb rainfall so that rainfall doesn't just get wasted and flushed out the storm drain to the creek. The gardens here are surrounded by these silvery gray panels that are a special material called trespa and it's actually made primarily of paper and recycled wood chips. 